Mr. Sprinkles, written by Beth Costanzo, illustrated by E. Katarina Alina. Mr. Sprinkles and I were the best of friends. On a brisk day in October, we had a ceremony for Mr. Sprinkles. Mom said a prayer, and then Dad, Mom, and I shared our favorite Mr. Sprinkles story. The following day, we made a scrapbook for Mr. Sprinkles and put all our favorite pictures in it. Talking about Mr. Sprinkles made me feel better. Each day, Mr. Sprinkles and I played hide and seek. Mr. Sprinkles hid, and I found him. We played fetch too. Mr. Sprinkles didn't bring the stick back to me. I don't think he understood the game. Mr. Sprinkles loved to play dress up. Birthday parties were his favorite event. He licked all the excess frosting from my face. Yuck! Mr. Sprinkles didn't love to brush his teeth. The toothpaste was too minty. When I felt sick, Mr. Sprinkles always made me feel better. We loved camping together. Mr. Sprinkles hugged all the blankets. One day, I came home from school and Mr. Sprinkles didn't run to me. Mom said he wasn't feeling well and she would take him to the vet. A vet is a doctor who takes care of animals. The next day, when I got home from school, Mr. Sprinkles wasn't in his bed. Mom, where is Mr. Sprinkles, I asked. Mom looked very sad, and her eyes were puffy like she had been crying. Mom said, come sit next to me. Okay, I said. I took Mr. Sprinkles to the vet. While the vet examined Mr. Sprinkles, he passed away. He passed away? What does that mean, I asked. It means he went to heaven. He won't be coming home. I hugged mom tightly and started crying. Mom cried too. Mom said, it's okay to feel sad when you lose a loved one. It's okay to talk about your feelings and cry. Each time we cry, we release our emotions. This helps our bodies towards healing from the loss of Mr. Sprinkles. Mom and I always talked about Mr. Sprinkles with love. Mom said the pain of losing Mr. Sprinkles will go away, but the wonderful memories will always remain. I think mom is right. I loved Mr. Sprinkles and he loved me. Some people will never understand how much I love my dog, but that's okay. Mr. Sprinkles did. He was my favorite hello every day and my hardest goodbye. I love you, Mr. Sprinkles. Mr. Sprinkles was the best dog anyone could ever ask for. Every day was a fun adventure. One day, Mr. Sprinkles became sick and passed away. This made a young boy very sad. A child's first experience of death is the opportunity to teach about coping with grief and pain. Every person deals with grief differently. It is important to find ways to help a child get through the grieving process. Mr. Sprinkles assures youngsters that no matter how badly they feel when they lose a pet, in time, their hurt will ease. They will be able to remember with fondness and happiness that a pet always loves them no matter what. Also, pets are never really gone because they are always in our thoughts and hearts. Also included are activities at the end of this book to help children cope with the loss of a pet.